All right, we're gonna multiply a binomial by a trinomial, okay? To do that, I'm gonna distribute the three X, Dorothy, Toto, and the Tin Man, and then down here, Dorothy, Toto, and the Tin Man. Now, why do I do these arrows? Look, I'm a grown man, and to this day, I still do arrows. I got a lot going on in my head, and sometimes I forget stuff. So this way, I can always go back and make sure, it just keeps me on track, keeps me focused. So what is 3x times x squared? Well, I'm gonna come over here, that's 3x cubed. What is 3x times 6x? That's 18x squared. What is 3x times negative 5, negative 15x? Take a little deep breath, now we come in here, negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 6, 6x is negative 12x, and negative 2 times negative 5 is plus 10. Now we got to combine the like terms. So what I like to do is maybe I'm going to put a circle around all my cube terms. Oh, that's the only one. Now I'm going to put maybe a rectangle around the square terms. So there's one there. That's it. Okay. Maybe remember the little pudding in a cloud? X is right there. I'm running out of shapes because I got a number with nothing, so maybe a little triangle would do the trick. Now, again, you can go get a little snack, come back. You don't have to start all over. Let's uh, combine all my shapes. So circles, that's the only one in town, so there's that. My boxes, if I have 18x squared, take away 2x squared, that is 16x squared. And then I lost 15x's, I lost 12 more x's, I lost 27 X's, and there's nothing to combine there. So that, my friends, is how you multiply a binomial by a trinomial.